mom and also an expert, I have always protected my family against cavities. But I also worry about stains. Ooh, and bad breath too. That's why I've helped develop new Pepsodent Triple Protection 123. One, it helps protect against cavities. Two, stains. And three, bad breath. Now my family is triple protected with new Pepsodent Triple Protection 123. Dear colleagues, you are welcome back to the Adrenaline series on the perfect store concept. Today I'll be talking to you about process. And for me, process is tied directly with performance improvement. Why do you need process in your pharmacy? It's because you want reliability, you want consistency, and you want to be able to predict the future. And what is that future? It is a better pharmacy, it is better retail services, it is sustained growth, and the kind of service that would delight your customers. Process and performance improvement are tied into one. But for performance improvement to exist, you must have clear objectives, clear targets that are defined. You cannot just assume that everybody working with you understands these objectives. You must clearly define them and articulate them in a way that they can relate with. One of such goals could be increase in customer service. Maybe you have not taken a customer service survey in recent times. You need to. That way you can know what it is currently and where you want it to be in the next 12 months or 6 months. Another focus in your performance improvement could be increase in sales. What are your sales now? And what are your sales in 6 months that you want to achieve? That way you can plan and you can achieve this through a methodological manner in arriving at increased sales growth. Another objective could be you want to increase your cash flow then you have to look at what is tying down your cash currently and how to adjust that. It is essential for any performance improvement to happen, you must have clear objectives. Then you put down the processes to achieve those objectives. The other thing to look for in process is to make sure there is buying of all your staff. You can do, you can choose to set the processes in place by yourself, but the better way to do so is to carry them along. Therefore, there has to be ownership of this process project. There has to be effective communication. You must communicate the vision and the requirements and the resources needed with your staff. It is essential that they know why you are on this journey and they can also help you with it. For staff to have buy-in, they need to have a sense of ownership. That ownership is so essential. You can't have successful process change or performance improvement without the buying of all the key stakeholders in the organization. You must share the vision. You must share it and do it in such a manner that it relates with what is important to them. Many of your staff are working with you because they believed initially in your vision. Is that still the case? If it is not, then you need to improve your communication process. It is essential for every pharmacy owner to do some level of regular communication. That way, you can then know that people can clear the air, they can understand when there are issues, they are in it with you for the long run. We're gonna be talking to you about a few other P's in this perfect store concept. Look out for them.